KTK. It's so good to see you guys. I had so much fun at Friday Show and Tell, so I wanted to do another science video with you guys today. This science experiment is going to be about the water cycle. Can you guys say water cycle? Nice job. The water cycle just means the way water moves around. So before we get into the experiment, I wanted to review the states of matter. Can you guys say states of matter? Great job. The states of matter are a liquid, a solid, and gas. So if we have water as an example, water itself is a liquid. What happens when water freezes? What does it turn into? Ice, that's right. Ice is our solid. And guys, have you ever watched mom or dad cook? And when they boil water on the stove, um, steam rises from the pot? That is a gas. It gets so hot that it turns into steam. So those are our three states of matter. Now, for the water cycle today, you will need a plastic bag with the sun, a cloud, and water drawn onto your bag. You will need water that's dyed blue and tape to hang it up from a window when you're all done. So the water cycle, this is how the water cycle works. So if we have a body of water like the ocean, a pond, or a lake, and the sun heats up that water, it gets it really warm, the water is going to evaporate and turn into a gas. So it rises up, 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 up into the sky. And in the sky, the water condenses. Can you guys say condense? Nice job. It condenses, it comes together to form clouds. And guys, when we look in the sky and we see dark clouds, what does that mean that is going to happen? That's right, rain. So when there's so much water in a cloud and it has condensed, it comes back down into our body of water in the form of rain. How awesome is that? So let's do our experiment and see how, this ex how the water cycle works. So what you're going to do is you are going to fill up your bag with water, and I have mine right here. And when we stick it on the window, we are going to let the sun heat up our water and evaporate in the bag. And we'll see, we have to let it sit for a little while, and when we come back, We'll check out exactly what happens. Hi girls, it is a few hours later of my bag taped to the window with the sun hitting the water. And I'm gonna take it down because I see some condensation. What it'll look like is a little bit foggy. Do you see how this is looks a little bit foggy? Some of the water has evaporated. It turned into a gas and it is in the rest of the bag. And when I flick it a little bit, some water droplets go back down from the bag into the water. They condense again and drop back down into our body of water, just like in the water cycle. So just to summarize everybody, in the water cycle, water goes from a big body of water, like a lake or an ocean, it evaporates up into the air and then it condenses, it comes together in a cloud and it falls back down as rain. And that's it guys, how awesome is that? I hope you guys had so much fun learning about the water cycle with me today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye you guys.